All right, guys. Welcome to Gorf for the Commodore VIC-20. It's a pretty cool game. It's it's oh, it's a mixture of Space Invaders and lots of other different gameplays, um, Galaga, Galaxy, whatever. You know, it's it's crazy. I love the arcade version. I played it, um, and it's got a lot of voice to it, which unfortunately the home versions uh, I think lack the voice. But we're going to try the VIC-20 version and see how well it is. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. All right, here I am. I'm playing on real hardware, just letting you know. I try to, I like to try to play on real hardware as often as possible. Ah, oh, playing with a 2600 joystick today, so nothing too fancy. Kind of get old school there. This is a Space Invaders kind of part of it with a, you have a little barrier. This came out for a lot of different systems, uh, Atari systems, 5200 I remember. I think 2600 as well, I believe. Here we go. Mission 2, Laser Attack. Alright. This is pretty cool. You got, ah, oh, lasers coming after you. Oh, man. Enemies coming after you too. And you can move up and down as well as left and right. Our mission three, the space warp. Right, this is kind of cool. You kind of stuff swirls in on you. What you need to do, all right, you can tap the button and your bullet will go all the way up the screen. But once you press it again, it cancels out that bullet. So you can kind of have like a fast fire, or you can have a long shot going all the way up. Let's go ahead and see if we can get... Ah! Oh, man. I'm not doing too well right now. Mission 4, the flagship. What's this? All right, this is the, the main guy. Let's do this. Ah, is that it? Is that the last... Nope, I got one more. Ah, 5,020 is the score. Mission 4. Alright, let's try this again. Bite the dust. Alright, we'll try this one more time. Let's see if we can beat this level. Get that last boss. Again, four different screens. Four times the fun. The hit detection, ah, uh, it's a little touchy, I think. Not that this is a completely bad game, but, uh, I don't know. Let's see here. On the arcade, there's a Galaxians level that they had to change. I remember it actually used the Galaxian characters. Ah, here we go. Ah, there we go. All right. All right, cool. We're in good position right now. Trying to get to the center of the, uh, the ship there. Blow it away. Blast it. Alright. Mm 
Oh, what hit me? I don't know, I feel like it just... There we go. Nice. Astro Battles, Mission 5. Again, it kind of repeats, but it goes a little further each time. Oh. All right, mission six. Cool, mission seven. All right, we're getting up there. Oh, come on. All right, mission eight. Oh, my thumb's taking a beating. Oh, almost got it. Almost got it. Nice. Boom. Mission 9. We're getting up there. 14,090. Nice, mission 10. All right, 18,060. Hmm, is that it? Is that my last guy? No. Got one more chance to get... Maybe try to get 20,000. No! 18,360. Was that it? Was that my last? Bit the dust. Or bite the dust. Alright, there you go. That's Gore for the Commodore VIC-20. Pretty cool game. I enjoy it a lot. It's a pretty good version of it. Um, of course, the arcade version is the best with all the voices and all that good stuff. Um, check it out if you get a chance. But uh, I'll be doing other versions of that too, of this game. So take care. That's another VIC-20 game in the books, and I'll see you next time. All right.